Jennifer Brianne's future husband for many years, but in the last five years especially since Mallory died, my prayer had changed. I asked God to send her a strong, faith-filled man who would be willing to protect and nurture her hurting heart, encouraging her relationship with God to grow, who would love her and welcome her into his life. Never did I imagine that God would bring not only this man, but an entire family to open their hearts and home to Brienne and to completely accept her. My brother Gavin has and always will be an inspiration for me, whether that be in my faith, relationships, or just being a man overall. I couldn't have asked for a better friend growing up. The amount of adventures we've been on, the many laughs and stories we've had are some of my favorite memories. Gavin and Bree have a pretty beautiful relationship. When I first saw Gavin and Bree together, it, uh, it, it really looked like something out of like a Disney movie. <laughs> uh, you, you could really tell that they, they truly loved, respected, and cared for one another. I'm so happy to say that Bree has become one of my best friends. I hope the feeling is mutual, seeing as you are going to be stuck with Finn and I as brothers. <laughs> I've always wanted a sister. I'm glad I finally get to have one. Gavin, you've really inspired me to become a better person, and I'm ex super excited for you and Bree to have a long and loving marriage. I can't imagine a better wife for you. You both represent what people should strive for in a relationship. One thing I'll often point out at weddings is that uh, the wedding isn't actually about the bride and the groom. At least not ultimately about them. It's about God. This day, like all Masses, is all about giving glory to God. Our whole lives should be about glorifying God, focus on God rather than ourselves. Even weddings, even the sacrament of holy matrimony. So Gavin and Brianne, you have done things the right way. In a world that disregards the law of God and his commandments, you have been faithful to him and his law. And I'm proud of you. I know your parents are proud of you. I know your family is proud of you. I know your grandparents, those who aren't here are proud of you. I know Mallory is proud of you. And most of all, and most importantly, your Heavenly Father is proud of you this day. He delights in you and he takes great pleasure in you today. You have built the beginning of your house on rock. You can go forward with great hope and confidence that the Lord will give you everything you need, not only to persevere, but to thrive in this great adventure, this great vocation, this great life, this great one flesh union. You have been prepared, you have prepared well, and you truly are ready. May the Lord bless these rings, which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Amen. Brianne, you receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Gavin, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now my pleasure and honor to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Gavin Olson. witnessed over the past few years of your relationship together has been beautiful and a privilege. Gavin, there are many things that I appreciate about you. Your work ethic, your desire to provide the best, provide the best life possible for my sister, your plethora of knowledge in regard to my musings, but the thing I most appreciate about you is your humility. 
specifically that you know that you can't fix Bree's brokenness. You know when to step back and hand her to God and let him do the fixing. And this is the most wonderful thing about you, at least from where I stand. Having that wisdom and ability to gently yet firmly hold my sister's heart in your hands while confidently extending those same hands to the Father is more than anything that I could ever hope for. And that leads us to the here and now, this new chapter that you begin together today. The pages are smooth and clean, the edges crisp and unworn, ready to be filled with happiness, joy, laughter, frustrations, difficulties, and challenges. So if you could all raise your glass in a toast to Bree and Gavin as I end with a few words from Mal, which may also slightly be an inside joke between three sisters, yet applicable to this wonderful celebration today. Slow clap, simply amazing. Wipes tear from eye. Cheers. I'm so excited that we get to start our life together. We did it. <laughs> Over all the amazing and long years that we spent together, this is where it's all come to. I love you so much. You've been there with me through some of my hardest points in life, and you've never failed to love me. And you have always been there for me through some of my best moments and through some of my worst moments. We've laughed together and we've cried together. And I feel so beyond blessed that God has brought us together. I'm so excited to call you my wife, and I can't wait for the rest of our lives together. I promise to love you every single day for the rest of my life.